guys, I feel like I promised this video so many times and I'm finally sitting down to film it. You guys obviously know what it is because you clicked on this video because you saw the title. So if you guys want to see swatches of all of the new, newish Ace Beauté lipsticks, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. Usually I love to focus on eyeshadow palettes and new makeup releases. I also do a new makeup Monday every Monday on my channel where we talk about new makeup. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbery, let's get into it. Okay, y'all, I'm so excited. Just a few things. First of all, this look is a chatty get ready with me. It might be up already. If it's not, or if it is, I will link it in the description box. So you guys can see everything that's on my face, what I did, how we got here. Second thing, this entire lip collection was sent to me. I am an Ace Beauté affiliate and you guys have been promising this video for months and I feel so bad, but it's so hard for me to find the time to sit down and do lip swatches. So finally I committed, I'm like, I'm gonna do it. If I get through some of the lipsticks today and then you see my makeup change and I do the rest, it is what it is. But I'm finally getting this up for you guys. I'm so excited because I have loved Ace Beauté for a long, long time and I'm so excited that they launched lip products. So thank you to them for sending these over. My code is the same as always. It's Cage Makeup and you can save on the Ace Beauté website. Okay, let's start off with something easy. I'm gonna swatch the glosses first. So this is the packaging all the glosses come in and it's the Pout Perfect Lip Gloss. The Pout Perfect Lip Gloss formula features a non-sticky formula that provides a high shine finish and can be worn alone or on top of lipstick. So all the ingredients are listed on the back here. It says these are cruelty free, made in China with a net weight of 2.5 grams or 0.12 ounces. So very excited, 12 month shelf life. We have three shades. We've got spot on, we've got all that, and then we have the shade spicy so let's go ahead and get into swatching okay so let's start off with the kind of clear shade called spot on this is a clear shade with tons of sparkles Ooh, that is so freaking pretty I don't know about the applicator. It kind of has like a hourglass shape, so it kind of fits on your lips, but it does feel very flimsy. So just know that, but oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's a sheer base with tons and tons of sparkle and it is not sticky at all. Mm, I am shook it because I was waiting on wearing a lot of these lip products because I wanted to film this video kind of as a first impression. So, so far, I really like that. Okay, the next shade is All That, and it's like a pretty mauve shade. These components are so pretty. I really like this color too. Great everyday shade. So this is spot on. Okay, and then the last shade is called Spicy, and this one is the darkest shade, and it looks like a mauve as well. Ooh, this is a pretty color too. I'm like insanely impressed by these lip glosses. So pretty, I don't want to take it off. I don't want to take it off. Don't want to take it off. Okay, so next we're gonna swatch the lipsticks. So these are the Pout Perfect lipsticks. This Pout Perfect lipstick features a creamy satin formula that is highly pigmented and long wearing. So these are also made in China. Net weight is three grams or 0.10 ounces of product. And then this packaging is the same as the last one. It's just a little bit shorter because the component is shorter. So we have five lipsticks and 
Let me just show you really quick. Look at this component. I mean, it's like a work of art. So I'm very, very impressed. Ooh, this color looks like a meat color. Let me just open these up and see because I probably want to swatch lightest to darkest. Okay, so the lightest shade is this one called Sincere. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't tried these ones because I wanted to film this video. This is such a pretty nude shade. It's called Sincere and it definitely has that glossy satin feel to it. This shade is so beautiful. It's not too light, so it doesn't look too concealer lip. Like, there's definitely enough brown in it for it to stand out, so it looks like I'm wearing a lip product. It doesn't feel sticky. It feels quite hydrating on the lips as well. Okay, so the next shade is Gratitude, and it's like a brown nude shade. I know, I'm gonna love this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's that, like, terracotta nude. Okay, just so you guys know with lip swatch videos, it gets a little wilder the more you swatch. But anyway, this shade, Gratitude. Ooh, you guys know this is like my color. I have so many rusty brown shades like this in my collection and I will never stop buying them because they just look so good on me, <laughs> in my opinion. Okay, next we're swatching Confidence. It's a really pretty dark brown. This bullet does have a really nice pointy edge here, so it really helps build up that Cupid's bow. But this is a really pretty dark lip if you're looking for one. Okay, this next shade, I'm missing the name tag for some reason, so I don't know what it is, but let's go ahead and swatch it. Okay, so this is another really pretty dark brown shade. Mm. Okay, last for the lipsticks is the shade Best Life, and I'm excited to try it. Yeah, my lip line is definitely moving around, so don't mind that, but this is the shade Best Life. It's like a really pretty burgundy red lip. So sassy, so good for a night out, and I think it goes really well with my skin tone as well. Okay, so the next formula we're gonna swatch is the lip oil. There's only one lip oil and it's this clear lip oil. This is the shade Awaken and it says, this Pout Perfect lip oil features a non-sticky formula that hydrates the lips and leaves them soft, smooth, and revitalized. So now that I've swatched five lipsticks, I feel like I definitely need this lip oil in my life. So let's just go ahead and swatch it. Okay, I feel like it's instantly hydrating my lips. It feels very comfortable, and I like that it gives it a little bit of a glow as well. So it looks like I have something on, but it's not like over the top like some of the lip shades. It's definitely like a great everyday lip, and of course, you guys know I'm loving this component. So definitely gonna be moving this into my purse for my daily makeup routine. But yeah, super nice. I'm gonna see if that absorbs in a little bit while we talk about the next thing that I'm going to swatch. So I'm gonna let that sink in while I talk about the next product that we're gonna lip swatch. So we have the Pow Perfect Liquid Lipsticks. And this Pow Perfect Liquid Lipstick features a velvet matte air whipped formula that glides on easily and stays on all day while leaving your lips feeling comfortable. So. Again, same packaging, component is also the same for the liquid lipsticks and I have tried a few of these because I just couldn't resist. You guys know how much I love liquid lipsticks so I'm gonna stop blabbering and let's get to swatching. Okay, so the first liquid lipstick is called Manifest. The lip oil is breaking it up a little bit but I have worn this shade before. I think that if you are a deeper skin tone, you might want to pair this with a darker lip liner just to kind of give it a less of a concealer lip vibe. Usually I can wear this on its own, I feel like. I mean, maybe it's not perfect. Maybe some of you wouldn't like this combo, but I don't mind it at all. It did break up a little bit because I do have the lip oil on underneath it, but I have tried these liquid lipsticks before and they're incredibly comfortable. So don't feel nervous to try them because they definitely don't feel like 
those liquid lipsticks that we're used to from back in the day that like dry out your lips because they are super duper comfortable. Okay, next is my favorite liquid lipstick shade. This is Good Vibes. I've worn this a few times in videos and it's like my favorite terracotta nude shade. And I should point out that the liquid lipstick has that kind of arrow applicator so you can really draw on your Cupid's bow, but it's definitely got like a soft matte feel to it. It doesn't even feel like there's anything on my lips right now. So this is my favorite liquid lipstick shade, Good Vibes, I think. I mean, I haven't tried any of the other ones. I only tried Manifesting Good Vibes because I was trying to film this video. So now that I've finally filmed it, I can play with all my shades and wear them way more often. Okay, the next shade is called Shiro, and it's looking like it's a mauve shade. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, this is like a rosewood color and it reminds me a lot of this Gucci Beauty liquid lipstick I have. They seem very similar. I've worn this quite a few times in videos. So let me just compare, might as well. Plus the Ace Beauté one does not cost as much as the Gucci one and the formula is so, so comfortable of these Ace Beauté ones. So if you're balling on a budget, oh, actually I lied. The Gucci one is a little bit more pink. This one's more of a reddish tone, but I feel like on the lips, I don't know if people would be able to tell the difference. So that is the shade Shiro. Super duper pretty from Ace Beauté. Okay, the next shade is called Applause, and this one definitely looks like it has potential to be one of my favorites too, because it's a really pretty brown shade in the tube. Oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh my gosh, this color is everything. It's like a brown orange. <gasps> it's like a brick color. It's so pretty. Applause, make note because I love this color so far. Oh, it's so good. It's so good for tan skin. Okay, so when I started filming the lip swatch video, I had mentioned that I probably wouldn't have enough time to film all of the lip swatches in one sitting. So I'm coming to you with a different makeup look on. Don't be alarmed. Anyway, this look should be coming up on my channel if you guys are curious about it. Stay tuned because it's a palette that hasn't been announced yet. So I'm so excited to be testing that out for you guys. But let me get this lip video over with because it's like two, three, five months overdue at this point. But the next shade I'm going to swatch is this one, and it's called Empower. I'm so pumped. Oh my gosh, this might be the most comfortable red liquid lipstick I've worn in a long, long time. I really love how it pairs with this eyeshadow look I have on, but this is the shade Empower. Mmm. I do feel very empowered in this lip, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, the next shade we're gonna swatch is Date Night, and it looks like this. Okay, this is definitely one of those vampy red lips. I think this one's gonna be a beautiful shade for the fall time. Okay, so the last liquid lipstick shade is Own It, and this one looks like a dark brown, so I'm very, very excited. Mmm, yes, this is very chocolatey and gorgeous. Okay, I feel like I've said this so many times in this video, but I can't believe how far liquid lipstick formulas have come, but this is so incredibly comfortable. I love this color. It's so deep and juicy and rich and gorgeous. Ace Beauté, I believe, is a black-owned brand, and I feel like I can really tell with all of the lipsticks I've swatched so far, I think they're gonna be so flattering on deep skin tones. Of course, that's just my opinion. I just have like a medium tan complexion, so that's just based off of my experiences, but these are so, so nice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the lip liners, so let's get into that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the lip liners from Ace Beauté. We have four beautiful shades, and I've never done like lip liner swatches before, but I thought just for the sake of having a very comprehensive video for you guys to see everything, I'll go ahead and take one for the team. And yeah, these boxes are similar to the 
full-size lip products and then the packaging on these lip liners are so beautiful as well so there's four shades let me go ahead and start off with the nude shade it's called priority and I'm super duper interested to see how these work they do feel plastic but I do believe you can just sharpen these up so let's go ahead and get a little whirl here Okay, so I will say I'm not the greatest at lip liner, but this one definitely isn't as creamy as the ones I usually like to use. But as you can see, I drew on my lower lip and I was able to transfer the shade onto my upper lip. So that's nice if you want to use your lip liners as a lipstick, you can easily kind of transfer it but definitely not the creamiest lip liners but i think some people really like that so just keep that in mind that i just don't wear a lot of lip liners not as much as some youtubers like to but this is a cool color i really like it it's like a really nice chocolatey brown shade okay so the next shade i'm gonna swatch is so right and this one looks like a really pretty light peachy nude shade Okay, this is a really pretty shade. I love this color. It's got the perfect amount of warm, but it's also the perfect amount of nude. So I really, really love shades like this for my skin tone because it's really hard for me to find nude shades that don't make my lips look like concealer lips. And this one is perfect. Okay, the next shade is Nailed It, and this looks like another beautiful dark brown shade. Okay, I definitely get like real lip liner vibes from this particular formula. I love creamy lip liners because I think I use them kind of like a lip crayon, which is not the point of lip liners, but I will say from the three shades I've tried, they're basically all nudes, but this one I think is like the lightest one, and then this first one I tried was the darkest, and the one I tried right before this one is kind of the mid-tone. I think I was a little thrown off because if you look at the tops of these, they're different colors, like one of them looks mauve, one looks like a dark brown. So I don't know if I'm just confused about the shades, but to me they all look like nude shades, but I was expecting some of them to be more pinky. Anyway, we have one more lip liner left. This is the shade in love so let's go ahead and swatch this one next okay so in love as the name suggests is the berry shade of the lip liners super duper pretty i would totally just wear this as a lip and not put anything else on it i am so excited for these new shades for my lip liners and i feel like i'm gonna be reaching for these quite a bit okay you guys i hope you enjoyed this epic lip swatching video i had so much fun making it for you guys i hope this video is helpful to y'all because i feel like there's nothing like live swatches especially of lipsticks and i feel like this is such a beautiful underrated collection from ace beauté so if you've been eyeing these i would highly recommend checking them out on the ace beauté website like I mentioned at the start, these were all sent to me. I'm so, so grateful to the brand for sending them my way because there is no way I could afford to purchase all of these liquid lipsticks and just this whole lipstick range because it's a pretty big collection. So I'm so, so grateful to have received them and to swatch them for you guys. I do have a code with Ace Beauté. It is an affiliate code. It's KH Makeup and you can use it on their website to save some money. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if it was helpful. Pass it on to a friend maybe that has been dying to try these lipsticks. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I will see you in a new video very, very soon. Bye, guys!